What's up everybody? Today we're gonna do some super awesome side questing. This is gonna be the first of many side questing videos in this playthrough of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess in HD in hero mode getting everything that I can possibly can in the game. So I'm gonna talk to Renato and he's going to inform me that I should go see, um, what's his name? I can't remember who. The guy on the top of the uh, platform. So I think it's Talo, whatever his name is. I don't know. So we're gonna use these Gorons over here and they're going to uh, give us a little speech. We are very grateful to you for saving our chief and our precious minds, brother. And then uh, to repay me, they're going to assist me by propelling me like a cannon up the side of the village. Because that doesn't hurt at all. Link is a very resilient person, as you know. Less so in hero mode, but still pretty damn resilient. So I want to get over there. Oh, here's a little fun hot spring, and this guy looks like, um, what's his name from Majora's Mask? The little Prince Goron? It's like a reference. So that's a fun little spring. That's cool. Um, we want to go over there, though. Okay, so I'm just probably going to plummet to my death. Yeah. Oh, this actually might break my fall. Yes! Awesome. The other thing we can do is we can go in here into the bomb shop and then go up that way because we need to get bombs anyway hey Barnes I want some bombs hey no oh yeah 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 I'm gonna buy those bombs oh but where am I gonna put them I don't got a bomb bag shit am I gonna have to go get one no thank goodness you can just buy one off him uh yes thank you I can combine them oh okay he's gonna send me a letter cool so I got DOS bomb bag I don't need more bombs because I have plenty. Cool. Um, yeah, so I got some awesome 30 bombs in here. I got an <clears throat> awesome... Maybe it doesn't say I have a bomb bag. Oh, well, whatever. Oh, uh, I didn't want to talk to you again. <laughs> the bomb buyback counter. I didn't know that I could do that. I had no idea you could buy back bombs awesome that's like i don't i can't think of any other instance in the zelda series off the top of my head where you could sell back items except for maybe do they have that in skyward sword remember there was a huge market and bazaar system in skyward sword which i loved by the way i loved that they did that but i can't remember if you could sell anything so we're gonna keep climbing we're gonna climb away up the side of the village now that we got our bombs and we're super cool with our bombs. And this dude up here is going to help us. Hey, man. I heard this town was also attacked by beasts and that it had met with a terrible fate. It is shameful that we were so concerned with ourselves that we did not even help them. Oh, so egotistical. So 21st century. So millennial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll climb on you and you can launch me. Climb. And launch. Wah! Okay, now position myself from the left strategically, which is always harder than it should be. Have you noticed that the back of Link's hood has this like little piece on it? It's like, I can't tell if it's sewn or it's just like weird framing with the polygons. Awesome view, brother. Baron, check me out. I'm up here keeping watch for the whole town. Yeah, and more monsters try to attack and I'm gonna be ready. I'll shoot my head off and warn it. Shout my head off. Ooh, don't shoot your head off. You'll shoot your eye out. Hey, I know, Baron. You can show me how to use one. Please, just show me how to shoot a bow, Baron, okay? Lucky for you, it's just like using the slingshot. In real life, probably not, but for these purposes. But can you really use a bow? I've never seen you so much as hold a bow back in Orden. Whatever. First off, shoot through that, like you can. Uh, bitch. Yes, I can! I guess that one was a bit on the easy side. Fine, how about that? Well, no problem either. I mean, it may take one or two. Oh, there we go. Hey! Up here! Try to hit this pole. Oh, that little pole? That stupid thing? I think it was this pole, right? Nope. A little higher? There we go. Whoa! You hit it! You hit it! Thanks, Baron. Oh, I guess you have a little bit of skill when you concentrate. Looks like you've left some battles behind you. Impressive. Hmm. Take this. 
Why were you withholding this damn piece of heart from me, huh? I don't know why he had to withhold that from me. Okay, so there are a few more things we can do here. Basically, all of the side questing that we can do now is thanks to the fact that we now have bombs. So we're going to equip those. And we're going to bomb this boulder first. Place it down gently. And kablamo! We have a secret passage. And there's a random chicken back here. I'm surprised these two chickens are still alive since they've been trapped behind this boulder. What have they been eating? Dirt? Soot? Ants? I don't know. Besides feed, what do chickens eat? If it wasn't for chicken feed, what would they eat? Because chicken feed is a man-made construction. Oh look, there's a chest down there. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna walk slowly towards it and I'm gonna get it. What's in the chest? Look at that. I completed another piece of heart, which is wonderful, because lord knows I need that. So I can't bomb that boulder yet down there, but eventually I will be able to with a very special kind of bomb. What kind of bomb could I be talking about, you ask? That's a secret. <laughs> okay, so for this part, we're now going to combine these and also equip the gale boomerang at the same time. So now we have officially... Bomb arrows. I think there's no such thing as fire arrows in this game. I think the bomb arrow is sort of like the closest we can come to it. So, as you can see, I bombed those boulders with my bomb arrow above the lake, and now I'm going to fetch this heart piece with my boomerang. And we got another one. Awesome! Okay, so before we advance, we're going to go a little backwards here and explore some things we can bomb in Hyrule Field. We're gonna go back through the gorge first. First. Jump over this! Yay! I got it on the first try. Sometimes that doesn't happen. Ah! I got letters. You caught me in just a nick of time, postman. If only Louisiana were, um, more prompt with- If I want you to give me my mail down here, I'm always frickin' waiting to get it from the office at my apartment complex. That damn leasing office is so slow. That or I just don't get emails ever. And like, I find out from Amazon that they delivered it like a week ago and I still don't know. So, I just need to be more vigilant. But the happy postman in Zelda, he's on it. The world should take his example. Lead by example, postman. Also, Opona slash Wumpa, you drunk. I can't control you right now. Not that well. So the one new thing we can do here is bomb a wall. But first, let me remind myself where the hell it is, because I don't remember. <laughs> also, I so prefer that they made the map much smaller on the bottom of the screen than they did on the Wii. It would just take up, like, half the screen. Which is fine, you know, but ugh. Yeah, I don't know. With it being that small, it's so not in the way. Why can't I find this damn boulder? Unless it's in Kakariko Gorge, and I screwed it up. It could be in Kakariko Gorge. Oops. I think it's in Kakariko Gorge, guys. <laughs> I took us on an unnecessary detour. I didn't want to. Hey. What? I literally was about to bomb your face. Oh, that hurt me, too. Since you're here. Finish you! Okay. Yay. All that work for one rupee. So we're just taking the scenic route to find what it is I need to find. Which is actually in Kakariko Gorge. I'm silly. That was totally my fault. I did not mean to take it. Ugh. Epona. Why? Why? Do you know what game also had weird horse controls? Shadow of the Colossus. Not that horses are easy to control anyway. Aha, here we go. Actually, this is not the one we want, but we might as well bomb it anyway. Pick up some rupees. Hey, there's a claw shot target. Oh, you don't know what the claw shot is yet. Sorry, I didn't say anything. Uh-oh. I'm gonna sneeze! Oh, I sneezed. <laughs> Sorry. Oops. Hey, look. I opened something up. Finally. After being stupid about where it was. So, what could be in here, guys? 
Oh, this is what we refer to as the Lantern Cavern. So I'm going to equip my Lantern, which actually is looking a little bit skimpy on the oil. So we're just going to use it when necessary. There's actually a bunch of things to get in here. And yes, it's a little bit hard to see because I'm trying to be conservative with my lantern oil. It kind of reminds me of, like, various caves you'd go in on any of the 2D Zeldas. Of which there were numerous caves. Instead of just, like, the holes in the ground that we get in the uh, N64 Zeldas. And Wind Waker, too. I can think of it. Okay, good. Just <laughs> blocked you in a nick of time. Um, now we have Divergent Paths. Let's take this one first. There ain't nothing here. Except some rats. Which I will destroy. With my mind, body, and spirit. Those rats can't harm me. What's in here? These things that I always end up stepping on and getting hurt by just because I haven't been looking. Oh, crap. Now I need to boomerang you. Put away the lantern. Ugh, God. I'm trying to save my lantern energy. That was a little scary. Okay, cool. Lantern, don't waste my... Don't waste my lantern. Ugh. There we go. It was beeping at me. So in here, we get 50 rupees. Which is, you know, it's a nice little bonus, but that's not what I came for. That ain't what I came for. I came for the other goodies in here. Work, work, work. I know, I know, I know. Ah, Freaking lantern oil. <laughs> the lantern oil goes by so quickly. Forgot about that. Okay. What's in here? Another spider? Ah, oh, damn it. I actually find that the more realistic the spiders look in Zelda games, the less they scare me. I don't know why that is. Maybe I'm just more used to them. I think Zelda helped me to overcome my general fear of spiders. Not that I'm, like, completely over the fact that spiders are scary. Oh my god, my lantern oil is, like, on its last leg. But that's okay. Oh, look, what is that? Nothing we can do about that now, but we will eventually. Um, I can't tell. what What's going on? Am I stuck in the wall? Oh my god. I, like, glitched out in the wall for a second. So, um, we'll come back for that later. We can't do anything about him just yet. But we can return to the beginning of the Lantern Cavern, which is one of multiple in this game. I know there's at least two. There might be more than two. Unless you also want to count that one cave in Farron Woods at the beginning as a lantern cavern, too. But I'm going to need some freaking lantern oil. Die, 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 die! Um, it's a good thing we came this way, because there are more webs that I need to destroy. Oh, it's a choo-choo! Did it do anything? Oh, I can scoop! Uh I do, I do. Is it lantern oil? Ah, yes. Just what I needed. I got some yellow chew jelly, and I'm gonna fill my lantern, and now I'm not gonna worry about a thing. Awesome. So we have more lantern oil, and we got it for free. I actually timed that really well. Bam, bam. Can I hit it with my shield? Just for fun? Chill attack. Yes, it knocked him off balance. Finish. Stab you in the face. Even though his whole body looks like a face. And in here, we get a stamp for the letter O. Just what we wanted. So those stamps you can send to the... Just like with all the other Nintendo games that have stamps, you can basically send them to the Miiverse. And then uh, post messages and pictures and all other kinds of interesting stuff. I mean, I think it's a little silly. <laughs> but... It's a cool little thing, if you're into that sort of thing. 
So now we're going to go um, to where we want to actually be going now. And we're going to take it around, actually. Ugh. Don't get hung up on the bridge. Instead of going that way, we're going to go around, if I can figure out how to do that. <laughs> Uh, JK, we're just gonna go this way. Ugh! Epona slash Wumpa. Actually, we're gonna do this instead. Because this is more fun. This is a more fun route, and we've never been this way before. So what we're gonna do is come around this corner, and we're gonna eventually have some bombs. Bam! I love the bomb arrows. I use them all the time. I just wish I had more ammo at this point. So now, we are um, in the big area where we fought King Bolden before on horseback. Which is, what's this place called? We're in, it's still Hyrule Field, but we're just in Elden Province. I guess, you know, once I collect some bugs, which is my next objective, I'll know. I'll know when my love comes along, I'll know. Just went back and forth between, like, a few different keys and octaves. Don't mind me. Also, lucky us, it's becoming nighttime soon. So we should be able to find these bugs no problem. Just watch out for the P-hats, assuming that's what they're still called. So this is where um, you can get in from Kakariko Village. And we're going to deal with this in just a second. But there is a bug nearby here. That I'm going to locate... Find. There it is. Stop, opponent. Stop, stop, stop. So many enemies that I have to fend off while I do this. If I press Midna, does she tell me what kind of enemy it is? No. I know, I know, I know. I was thinking that you'd tell me something like Nobby. I guess not. Oh my god. I just want to pick up the, the bug. I just really want the bug, guys. Don't hate me, I just want the bug. Oh my god. Bug, where'd you go? Bug! The bug! Come back! I got the whole world chasing me. They don't want me to get this damn bug. They're like the guardians of this bug. Oh, come on. Bug! I got it! I got the male grasshopper! Even though that was ridiculously difficult. So now we're off to go find the other bug. Which is not terribly far from here. It's somewhere in these little pools, to my knowledge. Ugh, damn it. Don't do this to me. Because of that, I was distracted from my main objective, which is to get these damn bugs. It's hard to describe where exactly these bugs are, only because this particular area of the map is so, like, open. Ugh. Come on. I'm gonna slash at you. Um, oh, those are not bugs. Those are pee hats. <laughs> uh, bug. Buggy bug. Where are you, bug? Grasshopper. There go. That's better. Don't worry, I will heal soon enough. Um, where the damn bug at? I know it's somewhere. I know you're somewhere, buggy. Don't waste my time. <laughs> but now that it's nighttime, I'm going to be able to see them much more easily. I also want this bird to get close enough so I can actually slash it. There we go. So we got the one that was by... Kakariko Village entrance. Where is this other hub? I know you're around here somewhere. Oh, damn it. Stop that. Thank you. Jeez. It took forever. I could have just done it with arrows, but I didn't feel like it. I was too concerned about the bug. And look, I've been looking all day for this bug. It's the nighttime music. Poor Link. He doesn't even know why he's looking for these bugs yet. 
I'm aware there's one all by the Elden Bridge, but there's actually two sets of bugs to, to get here. There's the grasshoppers, and then there's the stuff on the bridge and around the bridge. Where is this other damn grasshopper? Why can't I find you, grasshopper? I'm looking, I'm looking. I'm looking everywhere. I always find one or the other extremely easily. And the other one, I'm just like, where'd you go? No, I can't find it. Where is that? Where's the freaking grasshopper? <laughs> oh, wait, look at that. Just when I thought I'd have to skip some of the video, I find the stupid grasshopper. Here we are. It's also hard again because I'm reversed from my normal mode run. Am I going to have to chase you all over the place again? Ugh. I hate that you're a grasshopper. I just want to pick you up. Where's my bug catching? <laughs> there we go. Hey, my female grasshopper. So um, we're going to uh, take a moment to heal. And to do that, all we have to do is get a heart piece, which happens to be in this area. Because we ain't done yet. There's a plenty to do. What I do like is actually a lot of it is pretty obscure. Like, I would not have thought to um, shoot that bomb arrow at the thing on the rock in Kakariko Village above the fountain. Especially since, like, you're already, like, getting two heart pieces there already as it is that are relatively easy to find. I just wouldn't think to continue to pursue. So I just bombed a rock here near the entrance of this area from Kakariko Village. And we're just going to sort of roll our way along or and then climb these vines which are awkwardly textured you can kind of see how they're like in patches of four like they're tiled mm -mm -mm. okay and then we're gonna continue to jump here i almost fell off that could have been annoying and we're going to bomb this thing and grab on for life. Link is really gripping into those vines. He really knows how to do it. Once again, it's not Link, it's Baron. Because it's me. It's me! You know what's funny is a lot of people who only know me on social media assume my first name is Baron just because I refer to myself as Baron and also because of my name being Baron as in red. Which, by the way, came because whenever people ask me how to sp- OH SHIT! <laughs> forgot. I didn't look where I was going. Where am I? Okay, this is a decent enough place to start, but let's call opponent back. Oh, two hearts. Well, so much for healing. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. I, I call myself Baron as a run on social media because when people ask me to spell my name, typically, you know, B-A-R-O-N, but for whatever reason, people assume that my name has two R's in the end. I don't know if that's more common or not, or what, but that's the story. So whenever they ask me how to spell it, instead of saying B as in boy, A as in this, R as in this, O as in this, N as in this, I just say Baron as in red, like the Red Baron. And that is the story behind my social media name. I'm Baron as in red, instead of B as in boy. And usually people get it right away when I say that. Oh, like the Red Baron. Yeah, like the Red Baron. Or like any other time you spell Baron normally in conversation. Or in writing. Baron two R's is not even a word. Sure, it's a name. It Like, it's a legit name. I get that. But when we're talking about the word Baron, like lords and nobles and barons and baronesses, you spell it with one R. Okay, um, where do you go? There you are. We got a male phasmid. I'm not actually familiar with what a phasmid is. Oh, um, we also could have opened letters from before. Urgent notice! Um, I don't know what's for surprise there. Maybe I'll check it out later. But I pretty much have everything that I can get at this point. And where's my bug calculator? Here we go. You'll see that here's the grasshoppers. So it's just calling it the field north of Kakariko Village in Elden Province. And this is on the bridge of Elden. So we have two different sets of bugs in this area, as you can see. And we're going to continue tralalaing across the bridge. This wonderful bridge. It reminds me a lot of the bridge in Shadow of the Colossus. And I bet 
it was somewhat inspired by it too. I think Shadow of the Colossus ended up being a very influential game for a lot of developers. And I just see a lot of strands of Shadow of the Colossus in the Hyrule field in this game. Okay, we're going to get this bug up here now. Assuming that Guild Boomerang can go that far. It can. Hey, Phasmid. Pick you up. Hey, it's a Phasmid. I like it. Okay. Bomb arrow. Give me money. And we're going to progress because now that we um, have... We got... How many harpies did we get? We got like, we got two in Hakuriku Village, one in Lantern. We got four heart pieces, and we got four bugs, and we got the bombs. So this has been a very productive bit of side questing. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's a good thing we did it because we can't be going back now. Because the Twilight stole the Bridge of Elden. Really though, how do you steal a stone bridge? How does that even happen? Like this, actually. This is how it happens. It happens like this. Ooh. I don't think I can go back and get them yet, because I think they're on the other side of the bridge. I think that's a thing we have to do later, so let's just keep going for now. Go around whatever the hell this is. The strange structure. There are these weird, like, connecting paths. I think it's, like, time to load the rest of the world. We're just gonna barrel past you guys. Who cares? You guys have bad aim anyway. Oh no, it looks like a big wall of twilight. <gasps> Opponent's like, no, turn around, I don't like it. It's okay, you don't have to like it. But I do! I'm gonna go towards it. Hey, Minna. We're finally here. There's only one few shadow left. So that is, this is the last, oh god. <laughs> I'm not reading well today. Hee <laughs> hee, so what will you do? What will I do? I'm gonna go frickin' into it, because that's what I have to do, because I'm the hero of time. So that's all for this episode. I'll see you next time when we go back into the Twilight Realm for the last time. But is it the last time? Who knows?